I'm basically just going to be demonstrating how to do twists with extension, so Senegalese and Mali twist. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a really like straightforward, simple tutorial. So to start off, I'm just going to go straight into it. By the way, to start off, usually you'd have your hair freshly washed, moisturised, detangled, etc. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind when you're doing it. So. I'm basically just going to roughly part, you can use a comb but I'm just using my fingers just um, just for this demo really. And what you're going to do is, yeah just take about this much, you don't need a big amount, a big part in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to split that section into half, like this. So that was one, now it's two. Okay, so this is really important this step for if you want your twist to have an invisible root and just be secure at the root. I'm going to show you the Mali twist first. So to do that I'm using Faux Fro from Trendy Tresses. And this is what it looks like. So aside from being used for crochet it can also be used for twists because it's that kind of texture. Okay so I have two strands here. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. And what I'm going to do is just half both strands. I'm going to take the first strand and then I'm going to just half it. Um, another reason why I half it is so that the ends are not blunt and they look a bit more, um, what's the word? They're feathered and tapered so they're not all blunt. This will just help the twist to stay in. And I'm going to do the same for the other strand. So, yeah. This would uh, make quite a thick twist, so this really and truly depends on how thick you want your twist. And then I'm going to come back to Sally. You're going to take your section, you're going to split the section in half. Like this. It doesn't need to be a perfect line at all because it's not going to be seen, it's going to be hidden. Of the twist. This is just our starting point for the twist. So yeah, half that. Take your strand, and then you're going to place the middle of this strand in between the part that we just split in half. So this is the whole thing. We split it in half and put this in between. You're going to hold this bit nice and tight because we're not using it at the moment. Sorry guys, my hands are really dry. And then you're going to take this side and you're going to start twisting it towards Sally's face. So, so I don't know, I don't want to say tricky because I want it to make it hard. Just, it's just a technique that once you get it, you really, really get it. So you're just going to twist this towards her face. So I guess in a clockwise motion, you're twisting it, yeah? And then you're going to hold this section aside. You're then going to take the other one that we left, and then you're going to start also twisting that towards Sally's face. Again, in a clockwise motion. So this is where you need to make sure at the root, it's nice and tight. You can use um, maybe a clip to hold that one there if you're finding it tricky to hold both at the same time. So I'm just holding it in a very awkward way to kind of show you what I'm doing on this side. Let me just hold this side up here. Okay, so you're going to start twisting this side towards her face. And I'm not too strand twisting it, I'm just, um, I don't know how you describe this motion. I'm just twisting it on itself really. Okay, so both sides should look like that. So they've both been twisted clockwise towards Sally's face. What you're going to do is take the side we started with in the beginning, so the one on the left hand side, and then you're going to bring it over the other strand and just simply start twisting like that. 
And as you twist, you need to make sure you're still twisting the actual strand like you did at the start, because this is what makes it begin to form a rope and makes the um, plait stay put really. So yeah, just twisting it and bringing it over. A normal two strand twist you're doing. So twisting it, bring it over. Twisting it, bring it over. So twisting it, twisting it. And that's how the root looks. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you could use gel if your hair is very coarse or clean. In fact, it doesn't really matter what kind of texture your hair you have. Whatever kind of texture hair you have, you can put an edge control at the root just to make it look slick and you can put it on the act raw actual natural hair as well just to keep the twist looking slick throughout. Um, something you could do is just kind of roll roll the hair in your fingers like that as you do it so just like kind of roll it in your fingers and that that helps to keep the twisty motion and effect without you all constantly having to roll and then twist roll and then twist so just kind of roll it with your fingers until you go all the way down to the bottom and an extra way to seal the hair at the bottom. For me, I like to dip my hair in hot water. So I always dip my hair in hot water. You could just leave it as it is, but if you want that extra security, then I'd suggest just dipping it into hot water. It's not gonna be perfect, but I like a non-perfect twist. So like I said, if you added edge control, it would kind of get rid of these flyaways. Plus I didn't brush her hair. Because this is a very like kind of rough demonstration. So if you just wanted an extra slip look, just use edge control. This is our Marley twist. Very very simple. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. So you split it into half. Vertically. Have it. Split it. You're gonna get your hair. Um, place this hair in between our two split sections. Hold this section aside while she holds this hair to the root and then you're basically just going to start twisting this side or what towards Sally's twist rather. Once you get to about there, you stop, hold it aside, then you grab the other side and then again start twisting it towards, hold on let me try and move this hand so you guys can see and start twisting it towards Sally's face. Yep, that, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Then you bring this side over and then just start twisting it. And remember that as you twist, you need to roll, roll the hair as you twist it, two strand twist. So you roll and twist, you roll. And remember I said you can kind of roll it in your fingers, like that. Even if you don't roll, it will still stay, but it won't create that rope effect and it might come loose or get a few bumps in it, which doesn't look cute. Mm. Just keep rolling and twisting it. And I love this look. I only recently just started doing twists, I'm not even gonna lie. All these years I've been doing hair and I just never taught myself how to do twists. But I recently taught myself and I really like them and I'm wearing them in my hair right now. So really, and I, what I like about these kind of twists is that they produce, they, um, they have no pressure on your roots at all. 
so you can protect the style in a safe way. You don't need to worry about your edges, you don't need to worry about the hair pulling up your own hair from the root, nothing. So yeah, this is the second twist that I just did. Yeah. Those are both my twists. And the black hair kind of camouflages her hair quite well. Yeah, I'm new to this twist game. I'm just not even gonna lie to you. But I just thought I'd share what I've learned so far. I'll show you another way of doing it. To make the root look even more camouflage. I did this in my other hand. No, I don't know how I did it. So I don't really know what I was doing when I first did it on myself. Again, we've halved it. and placed this hair here. This time I'm going to twist this going inwards. So just hold that at the root and then just twist this going inwards. Like this. And then you're going to take the other side and then twist it going outwards. So away from her face. So you're going to twist this like going outwards. And then you're going to take this side. You're going to take the side on the right hand side this time. So this side. You're going to take that one. And then you're going to bring it over. And then just begin again doing the same thing. And as you can see, the root is a lot more invisible than the other one that we were doing. So this is another way of doing it if you want the root to look even more natural. So yeah. Okay, you guys know how to do the rest. But yeah, I just wanted to just show you the root of this when I'm doing it this way. Because I just think it looks a lot more natural. Like I kind of discovered this myself. I don't know if people already do this, but I kind of just discovered this this way of doing it myself when I was trying to do it on my hair. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just know you need to twist, roll the hair going one way and roll the other side going another way, but I didn't really know which way to do what, what which. So my route ended up looking really natural. Um, and I realized it's because I did it this way as opposed to this way. This is the way I've seen everyone else do it. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys liked that tutorial and I hope you found it helpful and interesting. I'm gonna do another one um, using Kanekalon hair for Senegalese twists, which is the same kind of method, it's just a different type of hair and produces a more sleeker look. So thank you guys for watching, bye. <laughs>